Today we're going to look at the phrase, I appreciate it. This is a very common uh, phrase in American English, and it's, it's a phrase that's often misunderstood and misused and often mispronounced. Uh, so we're going to take a close look at it. One of the reasons that it's um, hard to understand is it's a phrase that can be used in the simple past and the simple present. Uh, this is a verb to appreciate, and this is a, a transitive verb, which means we have to use an object with it, something that we attach to the verb. So we have to indicate who or what we appreciate when we use it. The, the verb to appreciate does not use a helping verb in the affirmative form, so uh, we'll look at that in a moment here as well. Uh, one common mistake is, is related to that. Uh, people often use the verb to be before appreciate. So people will um, say, I am appreciated or I'm appreciated. Uh, the correct form is, I appreciate it. Or someone might say, she is appreciates her sister or she is appreciates that. Correct form, she appreciates her sister, she appreciates that. Uh, you can read these other examples, but one more common one, we are appreciate, uh, is incorrect. We appreciate everything, or we appreciate something. <clears throat> In the simple present, uh, we use this um, all the time. Remember that the simple present is used when something is always true, or it's true now. And so um, in this situation, use appreciate plus the object, and, and in this case, it. So a couple of examples here. Thank you for helping me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. The food you shared was delicious. I appreciate it. It was nice of you to help me with my homework. I appreciate it. And then you can look at these other examples. By the way, I will have a link to this handout um, at the bottom of the video if you want to download this. In the simple past, um, it's you again, simple past is used when the action is completed and the recipient um, of a kind deed is thankful for that specific action. In this case, we might say something like, your friend helped you move, you appreciated it. And in this case, it is the help. Or my mom sent me a card, sent is the past tense, I appreciated it, or I appreciated the card. And so the pronunciation of this gets a little tricky. Let's look at the pronunciation. <clears throat> the difference between appreciate it and appreciated it is difficult to hear. So the first thing we need to do is distinguish the number of syllables. So uh, we'll use the subject I and then appreciate it is five syllables, appreciate it. In, this, in the past tense, appreciated it, appreciated it is six syllables. And so let's look at that just a little more closely as well. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. So in this case, um, I appreciate, here let me, Focus. I appreciate it. Again, five syllables. I appreciated it. Six syllables. And notice here the green one, tid. Uh, the pronunciation rule after ed, uh, before e, I'm sorry, the pronunciation rule for ed after a t sound is to add one syllable. So appreciate in the past tense appreciated when i say it quickly um, it's going to sound like appreciated it appreciated it and here you have to really get kind of a bouncy tongue at normal speed i appreciated it i appreciated it and if you can see appreciated it did it is the difficult sound that will probably take some practice. And then we have reduced forms, which, which also make it a little bit tricky. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We often reduce I appreciate 
it and leave off the subject. Uh, and so I appreciate it becomes appreciate it. You did something nice for me. I can say thank you. And I might simply say appreciate it. And then we'll reduce it even further and take off this uh sound. And it sounds like a contraction. Appreciate, appreciate it. So um, as a way of saying thank you, I might simply just say appreciate it. And then um, we don't always use it as the object. Sometimes, very often, we can use you. If you do something kind or nice or generous to me or for me, then I might say, I appreciate you. And this one is, is reduced twice. Um, it, we, we might go from I appreciate you to reducing that, taking off the subject and the uh, and just say, appreciate you, appreciate you. And then this final sound is often reduced to ch, appreciate ch, because you is, is reduced to ya. And here, appreciate ya. So someone does ni a nice thing for you, you can say, appreciate ya. Uh, here's a couple of <clears throat> examples from in context. So uh, when I move from house to house or apartment to apartment, I get help from my friends. And my, my friend Fatima might say, oh, that's good. You have nice friends. And I say, yes, I always appreciate it. And here I use the simple uh, present tense, it's always true. I always appreciate help. Um, and so I appreciate it. Maybe my neighbor shared, past tense, some of his barbecue with me. And in this case, I still appreciate someone's generosity, always. So I respond in the simple present and say, I appreciate it. It's nice when people share. That's always true. But I might um, focus on a completed action. So for example, I moved, Giovanni came, past tense, and helped, past tense, helped me move. Fatima might say, that was nice of him, was, past tense. And in this case, I'll say, yes, it was. I appreciated it. I appreciated it. And again, I'm focused on the completed action. So in uh, quick review here, Remember, pay attention to the verb tense and the number of syllables. The verb appreciate is going to be followed by an object, it or you or them or your generosity. And finally, remember, don't use am, are, is before appreciate. Hope this helped.